abortion foes turn up the heat on Planned Parenthood of Southwest Ohio, supporters are fighting back. There's a rally happening right now in front of the facility in Mount Auburn. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes leading the way now with more on that story. Todd, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, Mark. Uh, Lisa, this is part of a national series of rallies happening today, and you can see a pretty big crowd out here in front of this Planned Parenthood facility in Mount Auburn. You know, Planned Parenthood, as we all know, under fire on multiple fronts right now. In Washington, critics of the nonprofit have been trying to strip it of federal funding. It appears that effort has stalled, at least for now. Uh, but there are new state laws which could do serious damage to this women's health center. Let's talk about that. Supporters of Planned Parenthood say anti abortion lawmakers in Columbus put restrictive provisions into Ohio's two most Recent operating budget signed into law by Governor John Kasich. And because of that, the Planned Parenthood facility here in Cincinnati, which does provide abortions, and a similar facility run by uh, Women's Med Group in the Dayton area, filed a lawsuit in federal court arguing the new state laws are unconstitutional. This is a strategy on the part of people who are opposed to abortion. It's referred to as trap laws, targeted regulation of abortion providers. It's a national effort, it's taking place in many states. Where you have very conservative legislators and legislatures. Well, of course, the big question here is will this facility stay open? The answer, according to Jerry Lawson, president and CEO of uh, this Planned Parenthood in Cincinnati, as you just heard, is yes. Uh, the organization plans to appeal a recent uh, health department ruling, an appeal which could take uh, several months to resolve. And then, of course, there is that federal lawsuit challenging those new state laws. Supporters of Planned Parenthood confident the federal judge in that case will keep the doors open until at least all of those legal issues are addressed. You're going to hear more from anti-abortion activists, also more from Planned Parenthood supporters coming up later on News 5. A lot going on here in Mount Auburn reporting live. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. All right, Todd, thank you. Also today, the head of Planned Parenthood will testify before a House Oversight Committee. Cecil Richards is expected to tell lawmaker, or Cecile Richards rather, that defunding Planned Parenthood would be disastrous. She'll argue that the loss of federal funding will immediately leave 650,000 women with little to no preventive health care. Conservative critics have called on Planned Parenthood to lose federal funding after an anti-abortion group released videos. It says shows the group making money off the sale of fetal tissue.